Arms. And joining me on deck, Sandra Began, along with her sons, Jack and Charlie, and Dana Thorpe is with me from the Building for Kids. They're here to talk about a big children's parade, which is coming up on, on Wednesday, right, Dan? On Wednesday, yes. Tell Beginning me a little at 6 bit about it. Um, this is a third annual children's parade in downtown Appleton. It builds children's imagination, creativity, and confidence. We'll have over a thousand participants marching down Appleton Avenue. So what do kids have to do? Kids have to use uh, their imagination and creativity to develop and design costumes and or to decorate their bike or a non-motorized vehicle. Uh, Sandra, you came, did you come up with this idea? Uh, no, actually I did not, but I was part of the um, initial group that put on the parade, which started, uh, this will be our third year. And you really had a good turnout the first couple of years, didn't you? Oh, wonderful. Our first year we were hoping for a few hundred children and we had over 500. Last year was about a thousand and we're expecting um, definitely more than a thousand this year. Now, the, the parents will be marching a with the kids, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, we've got families, neighborhoods, groups that march down College Avenue, and um, if you don't want to March, it's definitely a great just to come and watch because the, the costumes and the decorations are really fun. And what age group is, is uh, this open to? Um, we actually have babies and strollers oh. um, up to children 12 years and under. All right, and, and uh, Jack and Charlie here are, are here to show us. Now, what do you have? Is this something that you're going to do th with this parade? Um, yeah, we are supporting the Mirror League of the Fox Valley. It's oh, a great. baseball league for kids with autism yeah. and all different kinds of disabilities. My cousin. Michael um, has autism, and my aunt and uncle started it, so oh. we're supporting the Mirror Clique. Very good. So you got a, a baseball and a, a bat and a, a ball, right? Yep. It's so like a little wand that you wave around. Pretty colorful. Very good. <laughs> and Charlie, did you help out with this? Uh, no, I actually did oh. the bike. Oh, well, tell me about it. Here it is. Yeah, nice. Uh, we just put, we, my mom, we bought pipe cleaners and banners and we just wrapped them on the bike and made real, it colorful. Yeah, real colorful. Very good. I mean, with a little bit of, like you say, creativity and you have a whole bunch of thousand people going by, um, it, it'll be a great event, the Children's Parade. And Dana, if you can tell me now, after the parade there's an event too, right? Yes, after the parade, um, the children will complete the parade route at City Park and in City Park there's entertainment, food, all kinds of activities, uh, just a lot of fun for families to celebrate summer together. All right, and how can we get involved by Yes, way? today actually is the last day of registration for the parade. You do need to be pre-registered and you can go to our website at www.buildingforkids.org and be able to register still today. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me on the deck, and uh, good luck on Wednesday. I know that I said some storms are possible, but I'll try to take them out of the forecast, right? Thank Hopefully, they'll, they'll just pass by. It's Wednesday, 6 o'clock, downtown College Avenue uh, in Appleton. And man, for more information, you can go to our website, fox11online.com.